In this video, we're going to talk about importing content into Figma. You can import files to the file browser or add assets directly to a design file. As we walk through these options, keep in mind that this video only covers importing Figma design-specific content. We'll talk more about importing content into FigJam in a different video. Let's get started. The file browser is where you view and manage your files. From here, you can import Figma design files, sketch files, and PNG or JPEG images. You can also import FigJam files, Miro PDFs, and Google Jamboards from here, but we'll talk more about those in a separate video. Anyone can use the file browser to import files to their drafts. If you have edit access to a team, you can also import files directly to projects within that team. To import a file, click Import at the top right-hand side of the file browser, select From your computer, and then choose the files you want to import. You can select multiple files to import at the same time. You can also drag and drop files from your computer into the file browser to import them. Once the import is complete, a new file is created that you can open and interact with like other design files. If you're importing a very large Figma or Sketch file, the import process may take up to several minutes. If you run into issues with imports failing, consider breaking up the file's pages into separate files and upload them to Figma individually. When importing a Figma design or Sketch file, keep in mind that the original file's version history and comments won't be included, and any further changes made to the original file will not be reflected in the imported file. To learn more about how sketch features are converted once a file is imported into Figma, check out the Help Center article linked in the description. Now that we know more about importing files to the file browser, let's talk about adding assets directly to a design file. If you have edit access to a file, you can drag and drop images onto the canvas to import them. As long as the selected file is supported, Figma will add it to the canvas. When importing SVGs, keep in mind that they are no longer treated as an image and are converted into vector layers. If you're on a paid plan, you can also import MP4, MOV, and WebM video files. You can also import assets using the Place Image slash Video tool. To access this feature, open the Shape Tools dropdown in the toolbar and select Place Image slash Video, or use the keyboard shortcut. A window appears where you can select as many images or videos you want to add to the file. Once you're done selecting files, click Open. You'll notice the cursor has changed to include a badge that indicates how many files you selected and shows a preview of the first file that will be placed. To add assets to a specific area, navigate to that location and click on the canvas to place the file. Alternatively, you can click Place All in the toolbar to add all of the files to a single location, where you can reposition them as needed. If you click on a shape or text layer, the asset will be applied as a fill. If you click inside a frame, the asset will be nested inside the frame layer. We hope you enjoyed learning all about importing files into Figma. If this video didn't cover your question, check out our comprehensive Help Center articles linked in the description, or feel free to leave a comment. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Figma tutorials, and we'll see you again soon.